In this week's Show Us Something Good, we're looking at a story of beating the odds and proving the naysayers wrong. Interviews Lauren Bentley joins us live in studio with the story of Brooke Peterson. Dave, throughout her life, many people saw Peterson as being down. What they didn't expect is she was never out. Brooke Peterson isn't like most people. She's stronger. She's had to be that way since she was two, when she was paralyzed after getting sick. Her bodies were creating antibodies to um, fight off what it thought was a virus still in her system, which was not. Still, she learned to be just like any other kid. She's always been one to be, one to be as normal as possible. That was her mission, but there were bumps in the road, and even dad had his doubts in the beginning. A couple years after her illness that I quit telling her she couldn't do things because she'd prove us wrong. My dad, when I was younger, told me I couldn't have a Game Boy because I couldn't push the buttons. I proved him wrong. Then her attention turned from Game Boy to ball games when she watched her first football game with her dad. She fell absolutely head over heels in love with that. That's where the dream started. Her new mission, to get a sports journalism degree. She knew the difficulties ahead of her. She had to adapt to do classes online and get technology that lets her type. So she has what we call a play mouse stick, which she uses to type with, and then a mouse stick that she can control her iPhone with. She controls the mouse with her tongue. She says it takes her twice as long to finish assignments, but it's never stopped her from finishing. In the past, I had somebody tell me I want to go to college. In true Peterson fashion, I went to college. She told, person told me I never graduate. I'm graduating. She proved them wrong again. Brooke Peterson is now a graduate, proving that nothing has ever held her back. This is just kind of meant to be, I guess. Brooke says this is just one dream she's checked off her bucket list. You can't tell me I can't do something. I, I will prove you wrong. And as her parents snap pictures to remember this day forever... <laughs> it's going to be a proud moment for for both of us and for our kids that are going to be there. Brooke looks to the future and what's yet to come. I did this for me, but I did this too. If I'm wrong, that's what I do. Brooke is now on the hunt for a job in sports broadcasting. She says she would love to call plays for one of her favorite hockey teams, the Tri-City Storm. Dave? Really cool, Lauren. Thank you.